welcome back. We are grocery shopping today and we are here at the hometown IGA in Hartford. I'm Tiffany Calvert, Family Consumer Science Extension Agent. And I'm Angie Hunnell, Registered Nurse, Health Improvement Program Specialist at Purdue Farms. Okay, so today's lesson is how to shop healthy. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to do some grocery shopping and we're going to take you along with us. All right. So, um, to prepare, you got to get your list out, um, check your ads and see what's on sale. Yep. I mean, check and see what's in season and what meat is on sale so you can plan ahead what your meals that you're going to do that week. Um, of course, there's also the ones online, um, your cards, your discount cards. Make yep. sure you check those. Yeah, and most of the time the discount cards are free. You just got to sign up right. for them. Right, right. Discount card is free. Um, your coupons, of course, make sure you're only cutting and clipping those coupons. Not something that's processed, something that you're actually going to use and you know it's going to be healthy for you. Because if right. you bring it in the house, just because it's really cheap and free, doesn't mean it needs to come in the house, right? Right. If you clip the coupons for the cookies, you're more likely to get them. <laughs> right. You're going to get them and you're going to eat them. Yeah. And then, um, of course, recipes online. Um, yes, and you know what? I have found an excellent way to like gather all my recipes in a safe place because I have recipes that I've printed offline for Pinterest and Google and then I have recipes that friends and family have written down for me and then I have recipes that I've tore out of a magazine and so all of those recipes I've combined in a binder. If I've tested it and my family liked it, then it goes in the family recipe binder. So it's easy to find the next time. That's awesome. And then of course plan your meal and snack for the week. So yes. just like we used your grocery list, we knew what we needed for the week. We know yeah. we had church on Wednesday and we got ball game on Thursday. So we planned ahead for that. Yes. And so it's just really important to know what you have in your kitchen before you get to the store. That's right. Um, unless you have the luxury of somebody being in your home and having a call and then, then, then it just ends up being a lot of wasted time. Right. So know what's in your kitchen know what you're going to cook ahead of time before you even get to the store. So actually the work, it's done before you even get here. Yeah. This is the easy part. Right. Um, and so we're just going to walk you through. I've actually looked at the sales ad. I have some things that I need from, um, that, that I need already in my home and some, some sort of some meal ideas. But I'm also flexible because I know that I want to get whatever's on sale. Right, and what's in season is And best. what's in season. Right. So the first thing that I use a lot of that I've um, found here is minced garlic. And it's just minced garlic in the jar. You can use fresh, um, but I love the same time because it's just as healthy in the jar. Um, and just a little tip, this says it is good until March the 15th. Department of 2020. But just because, you know, like when I open this jar, it's not going to stay good until that that use by date. Right. So what I do is at home, I'll take a permanent marker and I'll write with a permanent marker on the top of the lid the day that I opened it. So that just gives me a general idea, you know, how long I have to use the garlic. Okay. So, um, what about the sweet potatoes? I've got sweet potatoes and sweet onions on my well, list. Well, the sweet potatoes, they're on sale. Looks like they're 99 cents a pound, Tiffany. 99 cents a pound. Yeah. All right, so grab me three that's generally the same size. Okay. Um, with sweet potatoes, they're, they're rather large. And so, for a family of four, um, I generally cook three, and that feeds us. Because um, I've got two adults and then two young children. So... Three should be plenty, and the reason why I like to get the same size is so that it cooks all at the same time. And then, how much were the onions? The onions, they're also on sale for 88 cents a pound. 88 cents a pound. Grabbing two. And I have These to be... These the Vidalia sweet onions. They're really yes, good. Yes, the sweet onions. They're really, really good. I cook with onion a lot, and then... We eat beans a lot with onions. We, um, of course, burgers is a, is yep. a staple, especially as the, the weather is warming up. And so I have to be careful not to overdo it today because you run into a lot of wasted money when food goes bad and we're getting ready to leave for vacation. So can't overdo it today. That's right. All right, so let's look at the 
Look how beautiful this okra is. That okra looks really good. Yes. This is a package of okra, $3.29, and look how much you're getting. That's a lot. Yep, it is a product of the USA, fresh from the farm, green okra. And believe it or not, there are ways to prepare okra without frying them. Right. Um, you can generally get the same kind of flavor when you bake them. Okay. And this zucchini and squash would be wonderful in a stir fry. Look at this. They're only $1.39 a pound. Yeah. Oh, that is very So you're getting three for two bucks. That's wow. not bad at all. No. Um, look at this asparagus. That looks go. so good. For $4, you're getting a whole thing of asparagus. And you know, that's really not bad for a family of four as a side item for $4. Right. That's a dollar a piece. Right. So I may I may get this to show you how to, um, how I like to cook that. Okay. Cabbage. Um, a lot of times cabbage is a staple in my home simply because it's kind of a sneaky way that I get by with eating more vegetables and less meat because we eat cabbage as cabbage steaks. Have you ever made that before? I've not eaten cabbage steaks. Super easy. You just slice it in half, spread a little bit of healthy oil on it and salt and pepper and garlic. Oh, yeah. And put it in the oven. So I'll get that, show you how I prepare that's that. That's only 69 cents a pound. Yeah, 69 cents a pound. That is very inexpensive. Um, pineapple, Angie, I know you love pineapple. Love pineapples. Yes. My favorite. So, pineapples are $2.99. On sale, um, that's not a bad price for no. a fresh pineapple. Yeah, and this one, you can tell by the smelling the end whether or not it's ready. And then also, if you pull, if you pull some of the leaves out of the center, okay, this one's almost. So I'm going to go ahead and get this one. It may need a little bit more time, but that's perfect because I don't have time the next couple of days to slice it anyway. Um, I do have a pineapple core, oh, yeah. and I'll show you that. It'll okay. make it a whole lot easier to get every bit of that useful pineapple. Okay. Um, Look at those strawberries. Strawberries are in season right yes, now. Yes, just a dollar eighty-eight. Dollar eighty-eight for a package of fresh strawberries. In season is when you want to buy your fruits and vegetables if you possibly can. They're going to be much cheaper. You can buy larger amounts. You could even take them, prepare them, and freeze them. Yes. So before a fruit or a vegetable goes bad in your home, freeze it. Yeah. You know, if nothing else, you could throw it into your smoothies. That's right. And so Angie talked about, um, you know, before you come to the grocery store, it's important that all this planning ahead, but it's also just as important to have a full stomach or at least not be starving to death. Um, and look what I got in my purse. <laughs> I've got just a little bit more of my green smoothie that I prepared this morning. And you know, after drinking this and then coming to the grocery store, I just feel like I'm accomplishing something and I just I'm more focused on health believe it or not because yeah. I woke up this morning I started off good yes. and I'm gonna end good right okay I didn't finish my strawberries <laughs> um you know carrots are really cheap usually year-round absolutely um so look at this okay so here is a two pound bag of carrots and that's a lot for two dollars can't beat that. That's a dollar a pound. So, you know, this would probably be um, dinner for my family twice, you know. You can boil those and mash them in your potatoes. You can roll them. You can eat them raw. Yeah, you stir can eat those in lots of different ways. You can even blend them in your smoothies. There so, you go. eat your fruits and your vegetables. Um, we've got some cantaloupe here. And this is what's really good about usually um, a local store is you get to taste it. Thank you. Go. And it smells really fresh. How much is the cantaloupe? Two of them for five bucks. 
Right, cannot beat that. You know? This is really the way crazy. I look at it is this cantaloupe would feed a family of four probably more than one, and it's a really yes. healthy snack. For $2.50 a piece. Find some of your favorites like Red White Strawberries, only $1.88. It's really good. Do you know how to tell if the cantaloupe is ripe or not? First of all, you want to make sure that it's not too smushed, okay? Make sure it's good, pretty good and firm. You wouldn't want you buy one that is too green in color okay but you smell it and the closer it smells to one that's already um, sliced up is the riper the cantaloupe so whether or not you're wanting this cantaloupe to eat right away or you want to store, store it for a while and you know in spots like this it's not bad. No, that's not bad at it's, all. It's not rotten. It's probably just simply where it's laid on the ground, on the soil, while it was growing. So it's not a big deal. Alright, so you want to put that one in the cart. And this one. Okay. You know, the watermelon is two for five as well. The watermelon is two for five. Well, watermelon is $5.99. Right. 5 dollars yes. And then they've also got samples of the watermelon here as well. Um, do you need a watermelon, Angie? Sure. All right. All right. The same thing goes with the watermelon. This light in color is just simply where it's laid on the soil while it was growing. Not a big deal whatsoever. There you go. That's beautiful. All right. What else is on my list? I know I need some tomatoes and avocado because I snack on them. I put them in my smoothies. And that we, salad uh, was really good. The we other put day. them in the salad. That was yes. really good. So the tomatoes on the vine are $1.28 each or, or a pound. And these are beautiful. Look at them, Andrew. A dollar and twenty-eight cents a pound. So I'm gonna get me some tomatoes and check out this fresh Florida corn. Two ninety-nine for a five pack. That's supper right there. So it is. That's three dollar side. That is. That's a three dollar side. I'm gonna get some. Cause that looks like some really good sweet corn. Gotta get my avocados. And the avocados are five for five, so they're a dollar a piece. But once again, this is an excellent way to get your healthy fats in there, you know? Remember how you flip that button out, and if it's bright green, it's generally not ripe yet. But what I'm doing is I'm trying to get some that are be, that would be like ready to eat today, but then some that's going to last a while. These avocados are in really good shape. All right. So I know you were talking about a special salad dressing that you use. Uh -huh. um, I like the Duke's mayonnaise. They have the omega threes in it. Okay. And when you compare it to the regular mayonnaise, um, there's less sugar and the saturated fat. So I, we just really like the Duke's mayonnaise. And to me, this tastes like the mayonnaise that my grandmother used to make okay. whenever I was growing up. So it's healthier for you. If you have to buy an inner product, you can't make it yourself. This is a better product that I have found. Okay. All right. So I know at my house, um, I mean, that would be a healthier option for sure, but we use the Veginase. Okay. That's yes. what we use. Um, and then a lot of times, if it's on a sandwich, I'm just going to smash up some avocado, mix it with some maybe Mistress Dash or garlic powder, and that's what we smear on our sandwiches. Nice. So then we're getting a healthy fat. 
check this out. Mustard. Um, we eat a lot of mustard, mustard, and the reason why we eat a lot of mustard is because we eat a lot of honey mustard. Yes. And I have fought this battle for years trying to find a pre-packaged, healthy honey mustard. Um, and so I finally gave up one day and I thought, you know, I just wonder what it would taste like to mix mustard and honey. And it tastes amazing. It does. Um, and you're getting less preservatives um, in that. And so we eat a lot of mustard, and all I do is mix it um, generally three fourths mustard with one fourth honey. And it's amazing. And you can pick what kind of mustard you want with it. And then here's the hot sauce that we use at my house um, the ingredients aged peppers, vinegar, and salt. Amazing. Amazing. That's what you should have. Yeah. All right, and then the last thing in this aisle is the peanut butter and the jelly. I know with kids, my go-to uh, meal is peanut butter and jelly. And so I was looking at the jelly earlier, and I noticed this um, this Bonnie Mom Man, I think so. Wild blueberry <laughs> preserves. And the reason why I like this is because on the ingredient list, it lists wild blueberries, which means, remember, the first ingredient that's listed is what this product is mostly made of. So I really like the fact that wild blueberry preserves is mostly made of blueberries. Yeah. Um, and then it's got sugar, cane sugar, concentrated lemon juice, and fruit pectin. I can read all those ingredients. It's simple. This is what I would purchase for my family. And they've got the blueberry, they've got strawberry, and they've got raspberry. Wow, raspberry as well. Yeah. Okay, and so the peanut butter, um, I usually look for the natural peanut butter because honestly, your peanut butter should be made out of, guess what? Peanuts. Peanuts. Okay. So we really want to avoid the added sugars and the preservatives that, some, that is sometimes found in peanut butter. So I know this right here, the natural GIF, and it's got, it does have sugar added, but it's just made from peanuts, sugar, and palm oil. So this, this would be the healthier option versus all these other options here, and it's on sale two for five dollars. Well, you can't beat that. So yep. you might as well get two while you're here. Um, I've got peanut butter already at the house, so I'm going to put that back. Um, and that completes this aisle. So we found the pasta aisle, and Angie's already picked out a couple of whole grain options. So we got the penny uh, whole grain, 100% whole grain, and we also got the spaghetti whole grain. Of course, they have to cook just a little bit longer, yes. and it has a good bite to it still, just like regular spaghetti. Yes. All right, so I think I'm going to go with this. Um, and then, as far as sauces, you just want to make sure, once again, that you're not getting a jar of um, sauce that's mainly made up of sugar. Um, I generally um, make my own sauces, and so I might um, show you how to make a homemade Alfredo sauce super easy, super delicious, and you're really making, you're getting more for than what you would buy in a jar. So you're actually saving money by making your own sauce. You so we're, we're growing a big garden this year and we are going to can a lot of tomatoes. And I'm just going to go ahead and can my sauce, the barbecue go. sauce, my salsa and all that. Um, you know, seeing all these canned items makes me kind of, you know, I always choose fresh, right. then the next second best would be the frozen, frozen, and then the canned. Right. Okay. Or the dried. You know, you've got several bean options here. Um, you know, the thing, the thing of it is with dried beans um, is the amount of time that it takes to cook. And you got to think ahead to let them soak overnight is usually the best. And so, I, I generally keep a lot of dried beans. But then I'm going to tell you my secret. It costs a little bit more money, but this company makes just regular um, beans and there's no added sugars or anything. They've just cooked them already for you. Uh -huh. um, and so... You know, I like mine with a little bit more liquid, so I'll just add some chicken broth in there. Yeah. 
it looks like they have mixed beans they've got the great northern beans which is your white bean and then they also have the pinto beans so so if you're getting off work and you don't have and you really want some beans you got some cornbread just throw that in the pan and a little extra broth but you know go. just for a little extra time soaking for 99 cents and that that feeds you a lot yeah a lot a lot. Yeah, probably three good. times because they expand. I remember the first time I cooked beans in the crock pot. I mean, I literally had them overflowing because they, I mean, they plump up and they expand. And so really a half a cup would probably, maybe a cup for a family of four uh -huh. if you're banking on having leftovers. Um, so these beans would go a really long way. the best thing is you can take like the leftover of your ham. Um, you can take those like the ham hocks, those kinds of meats that you normally won't eat, or the cuts of it, and then put that in there, and they can set that flavor that you're wanting. So it looks like they have an even better deal, and that this Always Save is actually a store brand. Okay. And so for this large bag, $3.19 for four pounds of pinto beans. Um, and you know, when you're thinking about getting protein, and you are completely on a very tight budget, go with your dried beans. Yeah. Okay. And you can keep those in the freezer and those will last yes. a long, long time. Yes. Um, and then rice is always a good staple and a grain to keep on hand. Mm -hmm. And then I noticed these red tags are closeout deals. So if you were needing that to, you know, these red tags are drawing your attention to something that um, won't be in existence any longer, but you might as well take it, take, you know, the, the offer and save some money. Um, okay, so generally these pouches of seasoning um, generally offer less preservatives and bad stuff in them than the dried packages. Because I told I you before, I really have to watch out for the MSG. Um, it irritates um, my kids' stomachs and they don't handle well when um, they have MSG in their food. So here's another one. Tavern style pot roast. No. And I'm just going to remind you again that if you can read and pronounce all the words on the ingredient list, it's a bonus, okay? okay. Um, um, if it's long words that you have no clue what it is, you probably shouldn't be eating it. All right, here we are in the Mexican food aisle where I have found some taco seasoning and it's actually no MSG, no artificial flavors, and no dairy. So the fact that it doesn't have MSG in it, I could, I could buy this for my family. Um, you know, it's really easy to make your own taco seasoning. Have yeah. you tried that before? Yes. Really easy, just with a few spices and then you get more. Right, and a whole lot more. Keep it, price. keep it in a glass jar, and it's good to go. Check this out. Here's some organic mild salsa. Wow. Three bucks. We love salsa. Three bucks. You know, I make my own salsa, but if we were out of the home canned salsa, this is what I would go for. You know, a lot of people buy this right. um, because it is relatively cheap. Um, kids probably like it um, but this is a pre-packaged food that you absolutely want to stay away from not only is it absolutely full of preservatives but it's really 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 high in sodium um, so this is a no-no all the way around so you can make your own home version um, you can Good. buy just regular noodles and make your own seasoning packet and then or you can use just chicken broth or beef broth put those in there and get some much much better and it's much much tastes much better for you exactly so a lot of these canned soups um you know just make your own soup you're going to save yourself more money it's going to you're going to be able to make more with your money um and it's going to be healthier right you know if you have to go with a canned soup just be sure to check your ingredients. I know, Angie, you said this Yes brand yes. Uh, was a, a general one that you go to. Yes. Um, I love keeping chicken broth, chicken stock, uh, beef broth, vegetable broth on hand for that reason, because we make a lot of homemade soups. 
Um, and, and the broth gives you that rich flavor that you're looking for yes. instead of water. A lot of people will start their soups with water and they don't understand that's what they're missing is the broth. Yes. And I do generally look for the reduced sodium. Um, but if you go with the fat-free or the light broth, just look at the ingredient list and make sure generally when you're taking fat out, you're adding something else. Okay, so keep an eye on that. Um, flour, I always go with the all-purpose unbleached. Okay, um, and the only difference between the all-purpose and the self-rising would simply be when you're taking your salt and your um, baking soda out of it. And so the all-purpose unbleached flour, right here is a bag of it. So it says it's unbleached and it's all-purpose. So this is, this is what I would go for. All right. Um, canned fruit, but once again, you know, the fresh is going to be best, frozen second best, and then canned fruit. But you know, when I'm talking about canned items, I like to keep canned items on hand just for the simple reason that you can, um, you can go to that if you're out of everything else in the house and it keeps longer. You just really want to watch what they're packing it in. Yes. You know, are they packing in a real sugary syrup or is it in yeah. water? Like or this, this crushed pineapple right here is in 100% juice. So there it's packaged in its own juice. Right. So that would be a really good um, thing to go to. Applesauce is something that we keep a lot of in our house. Um, my breads that I bake, I, I generally use applesauce instead of a lot of oil. Here is the best choice store brand, natural applesauce, no added sugar. The ingredients say apples, water, and ascorbic acid, which is um, to preserve the color. So this is excellent. This is all natural applesauce. You know, this um, Mott's brand says that it is applesauce, and it says that it's an excellent source of vitamin C. Be sure to always look in the ingredients. This uh, particular brand, I think, is advertised more for younger children, which is what surprises me. On the ingredient list, it says apples and high fructose corn syrup. So you're getting added sugar with this brand. And then sugar, you know, I just generally try to avoid sugar all the way around. Um, I prefer maple syrup and honey. But if for some reason I had a lot of um, use for sugar in my home, whether I'm baking or maybe it's around the holidays, um, I would go with the cane sugar, which is a natural sugar that this would react, your body reacts differently to natural sugars than it does the refined and processed sugars. Your body recognizes the natural stuff and the refined stuff, your body doesn't know what to do with it. It just leaves it alone. Right. And it turns straight into fat. Right. Best case is just stay away from sugar. Um, oils, there are healthier options here. I see canola oil. I see extra virgin olive oil. Um, they've got the coconut oil. Um, you know, I stay away from the, the cans just because it has added ingredients in there. And you know, you can you can you can oil a pan by simply pouring it onto the pan and rubbing it with a paper towel. Right. And then I've actually ordered a spritzer offline where you just one. fill it up with the oil of your choice, and then you just spray it. And it's no added anything that's bad for you in in there. Um, so, and then the spices, I, I have a lot of spices in my home. That's what I flavor my vegetables with rather than um, unhealthier options like meat or oil. This is where I flavor my vegetables. Mistress Dash. Yep. Yep, there's your natural sea salt. You want to go with natural sea salt instead of the processed refined salt. Yes. And then Mistress Dash offers a lot of options here that are salt free. Um, 
people particular with um, heart problems really need to watch their sodium, blood pressure problems, blood well. pressure. Um, and there's like, this is garlic and herb. So this is, I've put this on chicken before and it ended up really being tasteful. Um, here's just a table blend. You know, if, um, if you're eating mashed potatoes and you want a little extra um, salt, go with this because right. it's going to add the flavor without adding the salt. All right, so here we are in the meat section. We've already double checked to see what was on sale. And um, I know that <laughs> T-bone steak would not fit most budgets, but it is on sale. And so I could get three of them for $21 because it's on sale for $6.99 a pound. So even though it's more pricey, it is on sale and I can I could afford this in my budget. Right. And when you consider serving size, this would actually serve more than four people. Okay. And then the pork loin is $1.99 a pound. It's really important to know what your unit price is. You want to know what it is a pound. You know, if it's normally $2.99 and then you see it on sale $1.99, you know, you can get this cut up probably for $2.99 get this all yourself it's less than 20 bucks it's $19 $1.99 a pound and look at all this pork yeah and we just asked earlier they will slice it um, however thick you want it for free right here at Bob's hometown IGA. they're taking the work out of it so why would you not want to go right with that? here yeah. we go I need some just ring the bell hey I need some of the sliced up hey here we are in the refrigerated section and the first thing that we ran across is milk and there can be so many options when it comes to milk. Um, here we have found some almond milk that is 30 calories in a cup. So if you're looking to reduce your calories, this regular milk is, let's see, 150 calories in one cup. Now, let me just throw this out there though. If for younger children, if you have younger children in the home, they need this fat that's right for brain development right. so i'm not by no means saying that to reduce their calories if young kids need that healthy fat um you know angie if i was in here based on what i had planned to cook for supper if it was something that was going to require me to cook with milk then i would probably just get the regular milk um, it is on sale for 2.49 a gallon um, however, if I didn't plan on cooking with it, and we were just going to drink a small amount of it, then I would probably splurge a little bit if the budget would allow me and get this organic whole milk. There you go. Okay. So really, as far as like your milk choice, it just depends on how much you plan on using and how much money you have in your budget. Of course, we have eggs. We, um, we had eggs for breakfast this morning. My kids love them, we love them. We probably go through a dozen in two days. Um, we eggs eat a have, lot of, of course, the protein in them. They also have those omega-3s that everybody needs to raise, raise that HDL for your heart health. Yes. Here we go with the um, block cheese versus your pre-shredded cheeses. Um, you are getting more for your money and you're getting a healthier cheese option. Um, the bag cheeses have that anti-caking agent. If you've ever noticed it has like a white powdery substance on it, you want to stay away from that. Yeah. Cut it yourself. And there are some brands that have this kind of block cheese already sliced up for you. So just make sure you're looking at it really good because those other sliced ones, they're not really cheese. It's just a processed cheese brand, but this is real cheese. Yeah. And so the ingredients on this would be cheddar cheese, cheese culture, salt enzymes, jalapeno peppers, green jalapeno peppers, salt, and that's about it. So that's real cheese. Real cheese. Real cheese. And then we're pretty much on this aisle going to end with butter. the butter. Um, there are biscuits in the refrigerated section but I just generally stay away from those. I make, make my own. Own. I make, make my own, own biscuits. They're super easy. And then I realize that you don't have time to make homemade biscuits every morning because I don't. Um, but when we do eat biscuits, I make more than what we're going to eat for that morning and I freeze them. That's what we do. Okay. And so with butter, you just want to make sure that you're getting real butter. 
Um, here's the IGA brand that is $369. That's um, the deal. They're salted and there's unsalted. So, and it says butter. And so whenever you're wanting to cook, you can use just a little olive oil on your pan, get a couple pats of that butter in there, and you're not going to miss any kind of flavor. I right. guarantee it. And it's going to be much, much better for you. Yes. Okay, and so now we're in the bread section. And I always like to look for bread that doesn't have any of the high fructose corn syrup in it. And we want to go as whole grain as possible. I really like our local product, Sara Lee, that is the company is here in uh, close to us. We have, also have Nature's Own. Look for those products and you have the whole wheat and you have the honey wheat. The butter bread, the honey wheat, those are all good products to use. Just look for that high fructose corn syrup. It's really hard to find rolls, hot dog things, hamburger buns that don't have the high fructose corn syrup. And if you look in those brands that, again, they are local, locally owned, we'll have that in there. And then, of course, Tiffany, you yes. will use. Yes. Um, it's all about picking your battles, right? And so I went with the 100% um, whole wheat and brought it home. And because of its color, my kids won't eat it. Um, and so then I have to go with second best, which is white bread made with whole grain. There you go. And so, and it's actually on sale right now for $1.99. So I'm going to get some of that. Um, but never trust the front of the package if it says 100% whole wheat. Um, it could straight up be lying to you. Always look at the ingredients. The first ingredient in this 100% whole wheat bread is stone ground whole wheat flour. That's the only sure way that you could tell if it's whole grain or not. Um, and so, we have really enjoyed shopping with you today. We hope that you've learned some things. Uh, you know, if you're overwhelmed the first few times, because I know I was, and shopping took an extremely long time because I was reading the nutrition label, I was looking at the ingredients, uh, don't get overwhelmed. Just make some better decisions on a few items at a time in your home, and before you know it, it's actually easier. Because if you notice, we did not hit every aisle in the grocery store. Right. We basically shopped the perimeter. We started off with fresh, um, you know, and then we just went around the store and we ended up here where the breads are. There are several aisles when you're choosing healthier options that you're just completely going to avoid. Because um, it's all processed. It's all processed, it's high fat, it's added sugar, it's just junk. Um, and so, you know, just a few reminders to stay away from the sodium and the added sugars. And if you get overwhelmed, um, don't worry. If you have questions, post them on the Facebook comments and just let us know that how we can help you make be better options for your home and for your family.